Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 BI and Reporting series of videos. I'm Darren Croft, a Senior Developer at Professional Advantage. Today I'm going to be talking to you about queues and list pages. So the agenda for today, first of all we're just going to talk about some general BI pains and also some BI aims. We're going to be talking about using list pages within AX, how to add to our favourites, and finally about using queues. So what are the BI panes? I've broken this into two groups, first the panes for end users and then for administrators. For end users, they often suffer from too much information, okay, or possibly too many sources of information and disconnected information. They have to deal with too many different tools and often those tools are highly technical and not particularly user friendly. For administrators, they need to worry about how to translate the user's requirements into the appropriate reports and they also have to maintain the various BI tools that are around. So if there's too many tools, it makes it more difficult for them to maintain the environment. So what are the aims that Microsoft have for BI within AX? A quote from Microsoft is they're empowering everyone across the organization through access to relevant and timely information, enabling confident decisions and driving organizational success. Now the key words here are everyone, relevant information and timely information. So how do we do this? Microsoft have adopted a role-based BI solution using familiar and intuitive tools and they've adopted the philosophy that BI is part of the application so you're not having to launch a whole lot of separate tools. So what are we going to do today? We're going to have a look at a demonstration of using list pages and queues. The scenario I'm going to work on is Colin who's a collection manager wishes to see a list of his invoices that are more than 60 days overdue and then he wants to be able to contact those customers to follow up. The requirements, he needs up-to-date data. There's no point trying to get a list of overdue invoices if you find out that half of them have already been paid. And he also needs detailed information. He needs to know exactly what's outstanding, what's been paid, who the customer is, etc. So let's have a look at this demonstration. Okay, on the screen in front of me, I have the accounts receivable menu for AX 2012. Just looking at this menu straight off, we can see that there's some list pages available here. And this one looks like it might be useful. This is looking at customer invoices which are past due. So if we select this, okay, this is going to show me all the invoices which are currently past due. Now what Colin wants is the ones that are more than 60 days overdue. Now if we look at the filters on the grid up here, we can see that due date currently has a filter on it, less than date zero, which means today. So if I change that to minus 60, hit enter. Okay, that's now filtered that list to only show me the invoices which are more than 60 days overdue. Okay, of course we can do all the usual things with this list page like move columns around and change the sort order etc. I'm not going to do that at this point. So what do we do now? Well, that's all well and good and it wasn't too complicated, but you can imagine if you have a fairly complex sort of filters that you need to specify, you don't want to have to come in and do that each time. So we need to be able to save what we've done. Under this drop down here, we have an option. So we can save this filter, save as filter, save as queue, and remove and look at various other sort options. So what I'm going to do first of all is just save this as a filter. And I'm going to call this 60 days overdue. Okay, if I go back to my menu now, Okay, and 
open up this list page by default it gives me the standard format if I drop down this list now you can see I've got my saved filters there so I can very quickly pick that one and straight away get my saved selections but we can go further than that if I go back to my accounts receivable menu this is something that Colin's probably going to do pretty much every day looking at past year invoices so what he might want to do is add this to his favorites so we can right click the menu option and add to favorites when we look at the favorites now we can see that that's sitting there I'm just going to go in here right click on the my favorites and select organize favorites we can see here that this is here so if you want to move your favorites around up and down etc you can do that but what I'm going to do is on the customer invoices past due I'm first going to rename it so I'm going to call this customer invoices 60 days past due and then I'm going to edit the query and this gives you the ability to select from pre-saved filters so we can see here here's my 60 days overdue filter I select that select OK and close this now when I go to my favorites my favorites I can see I've got customer invoices 60 days past due select that and straight away it comes up to that list page already filtered the way I want it but we can take this a bit further still if you recall on our drop down menu here we have the ability to save as a queue if I select that the first thing I'm going to do is give my queue a name so I'm going to call this invoices 60 day past due I can show the sum of a particular field so on my queue I might want to see the total amount outstanding so I can pick that I'm just going to show that in base currency so that we're not trying to do currency conversions across multiple different currencies and I can also show an alert so this is an alert when the count of invoices is something so in my case I'm going to say show an alert if the count of invoices is greater than let's say 20 okay we can then specify the visibility so is this queue just for me for everyone or for people in specific profiles for now I'm just going to leave it as me and hit OK okay so how do queues get used I've created one but what can I do with it if we go back to our home page okay this is my standard role center if we just go into manage queues we can see here that I've got my additional queue uh, that I've saved I can just hit OK that will cause the screen to refresh okay so that page is loaded and now you can see that I've got my invoices 60 days past due you can see a total amount there of $5,383 and you can also see a count of the number of invoices so at the moment I've only got 10 which is less than the 20 specified so I'm not getting an alert if I did have over 20 it would show as an exclamation mark next to that queue so that straight away gives Colin a great visual indicator of how many invoices he's got that are more than 60 days past due so straight away without having to go into any forms he can see whether he needs to take any action or not now in this case we do have some so of course he's got his favorites there he could go and use but the beauty of queues is you can just click on the queue itself and it will take you straight into that list page with the appropriate filter applied so then you can start acting on that queue straight away so that brings us to the end of this presentation if you'd like further information please contact professional advantage using these details and please stay tuned for future 
AX2012 BI and reporting videos. Thank you.